What's going on guys? It is Disney Dan back with another quick video guide for the Ghostbuster Story Pack Level 1 Paranormal Beginnings. So first we'll take a look at the Rule Breaker, which is 125,000 studs in order to get that Rule Breaker. Pretty easy, nothing too tricky there. Then we go over to the mini kits and this opening room. If you check out all the shapes hidden around on the art on the walls, you'll notice that there are three shapes, the square, triangle, and diamond. Put those shapes into the uh, technology terminal there and unlock that mini kit. Use Relic Detection over here by the uh, front desk and then uh, to create the grapple then use a grapple hook to pull the little terminal apart and find the second mini kit heading into the main hall the next room in the aldrich manor use magic to rearrange and correct the photo on the right side staircase to get that mini kit then if you uh, look around the room there are five matching tiny portraits that you can destroy destroy all five of those portraits and you will unlock the mini kit there are two that are kind of far out of reach and kind of hard to see but um they're on the top left and right of the uh, of the walls all the way at the top then we're gonna uh do one more mini kit in this room the a team master build so destroy these two doorways at the top of the staircase on both left and right with silver lego destroy then these haunted carts are going to roll down to the uh the center doorway use mr uh mr t or ba baracus to uh master build with uh, a team and uh you will destroy that door and find the mini kit behind it moving into the basement which you'll find in the next room behind in the back corner using silver lego destroy uh destroy the desk around this toy chest to uh, build this little grapple hook then pull the grapple hook to rid us of that haunted bear and get the mini kit inside then over here on the left destroy these uh, little area um these little pieces here to be build the uh delorean or tra time traveling train portal uh that will allow you to travel back in time to the past before this mansion was haunted into the unhaunted basement so we'll hop on there and uh, travel back in time boom here we go now once we're back in time the first thing we want to do is uh build uh, the cannon so clear out all the stuff around the cannon and then assemble it uh use the grapple hook to fire the cannon uh pretty easy uh, pretty straightforward it's going to blow a hole through the wall over there uh and then uh, there's a mini kit hiding there behind that wall that we just destroyed so just uh break those uh, boxes apart and collect the mini kit then we're going to go back to the cannon and turn the cannon uh, reassemble it and then turn the cannon a little bit and fire it one more time and when we fire it another time what it's going to do is uh blow a hole in the wall that will then travel to the future and then it will affect the future so uh use relic detection to create the grapple on the back of the cannon pull that cannon blast and uh then travel back to the future go back to the haunted mansion basement um but before you do that you make sure that you use a, a character like um wild style here to use master build to reassemble the furnace so that in the future it can get all kinds of haunted and scary great so we're going to travel back to the future now and once we get to back to the future what's going to happen is a ghost is going to fly out of this uh, little um mirror uh, haunted portrait thing and uh haunt the uh, furnace it's a little bit tricky here uh, so you know use a little bit of patience but there are three things you've got to do to the furnace you've got to melt you've got to pull and you've got to magic it so uh to start use a character with a laser to destroy the gold piece on the side then use a character with magic just to uh pull off the piece to the right and then use a character with grapple to pull off the piece to the on the front and uh, and then build the bellows with the remaining pieces and then jump on the bellows a few times and you will have blown up the furnace revealing a hidden mini kit inside now the other hole you blew into the in the basement uh, is now open and, and behind there is a defendo wall so use a character like voldemort or harry potter to uh, cast the defendo spell breaking uh, a hole in the wall that's claw shaped and with that claw shaped piece uh, assemble it and uh, and then it'll turn into kind of a little pump valve that you'll be able to jump up and down on to uh, claw open the uh, the treasure chest with uh, to reveal another mini kit hidden inside the final 
mini kit is upstairs in the library up on the second floor. Use the intelligence panel for a second time. After you use that intelligence panel the first time to reveal the cart, if you play the game again after you clear the cart, you will reveal the statue. Push the statue off the balcony to reveal the final mini kit. And then, of course, the rescue character in this area as well, over in the corner. Destroy all the, uh, the decorations and furniture around this chest of drawer. Assemble the grapple and then pull the grapple off to reveal Paul Feig, director of Ghostbusters. Thanks for watching, guys.